The balance doors can accommodate all the basic reasons for power operation. The first one most obvious is to meet the requirements of the physically challenged, the handicapped. Okay, again, as we talked to earlier, ADA really doesn't mandate operators as a guideline, but certain locations, uh, certain cities have adopted, they do have codes now that do mandate the use of power operation for the physically handicapped. One being the city of Chicago, which has recently passed a, their own code, their own city code, that does mandate the use of power operation at at least one entrance on every public building. The other is to facilitate ease of movement through the opening. In other words, people that aren't maybe necessarily physically challenged, there are certain locations, certain uh, owners that want to facilitate ease of movement through the opening. In other words, people with carts and luggage and maybe shopping bags and, and, and so on, they want to be able to get their people in and out of their buildings uh, and, and facilitate that ease of movement. So that's also another reason for the use of power operation. The third reason is something that's become a lot more prevalent recently, and that's to accommodate smoke evacuation and makeup air requirements in conjunction with the building fire control systems. With the, the buildings with large atrium spaces, there's been this need now, a lot of codes have been passed for smoke evacuation and makeup air. Instead of having an, uh, a separate system to deal with that, you can use power operation on a balanced door to accommodate that. In other words, that, that operator could be used for the physically handicapped via a push button. It also can be hooked up to the fire control system, pull stations, so that when somebody does initiate the fire alarm, whether it be a pull station or a security desk, the door, that same operator or other operators on other doors will fire open, push that door open to 90 degree hold open and stay there for an indefinite period of time until reset. In other words, doing the uh, smoke evacuation and makeup air requirement. So there are two basic power operator configurations. One is the traditional surface mounted type power operator, a uh, box tacked on an exposed arm to push the door open very unsightly. The other type is an overhead concealed power operator with an arm that is concealed when the door is in the fully closed position. It do, does require a larger header. We're going to talk about mainly the concealed overhead power operation. This is a little video that shows an actual installation on a balanced door. All the standard balanced hardware is retained and therefore it functions as a normal balanced door manually. And it's opened only when needed. A low energy type operator is used. So therefore it's, it's used with a knowing act, a push button type. We have to hit a button and then someone knows that the door is going to come open. So therefore this would comply with ANSI uh, 156.19. But as you're seeing in the video, these doors can be sequenced. The exterior door can fire open first, then the interior door can be slightly delayed and open a few seconds later to allow egress through the opening in a wheelchair. Then as the door comes closed, you'll see this arm come back, door comes closed, and then once that is fully closed, there's a disconnect, so therefore normal pedestrian traffic can use it like a normal balanced door because all that normal balanced hardware is retained. It's just a little uh, couple of views to show you a little bit more of the overhead concealed power operator. This is the exterior a series of slides with the doors closed, the power switched on, it comes fully open to 90 degrees, then there is a disconnect. This arm is not directly attached to the door. Start, the arm starts to come back out of the way independent of the door. Then the arm closes and the door closes separately. This is the interior view, again just showing pushing the door open to the full 90 degree position and then the door, the arm releasing and the door coming closed. And again, that's very important because that disconnect allows you to use all the balanced hardware and for that door to operate manually with the same ease of operation as any other balanced door. In other words, as soon as you attach that arm to the, to the door, like the old-fashioned surface-mounted application, 
you have to overcome all that spring tension in the operator, so it makes that door a lot diff more difficult to open manually. If you disconnect the two, the, the operator arm from the door, you don't have to worry about that, overcoming all that spring tension in the operator.